Welcome to Golden Software's video training for MapViewer 8. MapViewer is an affordable, thematic mapping and spatial analysis software package that allows you to produce professional looking graphics. In this video, I will cover how to create and edit pin maps. MapViewer has three overarching map types, base maps, pin maps, and thematic maps. Combining these, MapViewer offers 16 unique map types, a few of which have subtypes associated with them. You can see all of the map types in the maptypes.gsm sample file. Each map type will be discussed in its own training video. This video will discuss pin maps. Pin maps display point locations on a map, similar to placing push pins on a paper map. The example shown here displays point locations of a selection of U.S. cities. The size of the pins is varied based on the population of the city. Pin maps require either two or three data columns. However, they can use more than that, and many more can exist in the data file. Let's open a data file to view the formatting firsthand. Click File, Open. Use the drop-down list in the bottom right corner of the Open dialog to select DAT Data as the file type. This will limit the file list to only show DAT files. Select the uscity.dat file from the MapViewer 8 samples directory and click Open. The primary ID or PID is what MapViewer uses to link the data to the associated boundary object. This must exactly match the PID of the objects in the boundary file. Although a boundary file is not required for pin maps, the PID column is required. If we had a boundary file of the states we were adding this pin map to, column B would be the appropriate PID column. However, since we will not be using a boundary file, we can choose whatever column we want for the PID. Points on a pin map can be located by XY coordinates, US city state, US five digit zip code, or a custom user defined location file. As such, either columns A and B or columns C and D can be used as the location columns for this pin map. Now that we've seen how the data is formatted, we can create the map. Click File, New, Plot to open a new plot window. Click Map, Create Map, Pin. A pin map is unique in that it does not require a boundary file in order to be created, but if a boundary file exists on the layer, it will be used to create the pin map in the same way it is used for any thematic map. Either way, we see one dialog pop up, asking for the data file. In the Open Data File dialog, you can choose the data file from the file list, or, if you have the data file open in a worksheet, you can use the drop-down list under Use Loaded Worksheet to select the appropriate data file. Click Open, and the pin map is created. Now that the pin map is created, it's quite easy to edit the map properties. The first step for editing the map properties of any map type is to select the map layer. So click on the pin map layer in the Object Manager if it's not already selected. The map properties are displayed in the Property Manager. Since our PID, locating method, x-coordinate, and y-coordinate columns in the General tab are already set correctly, I'll just quickly mention the filtering options, and then we'll move on to the Map tab, where most of the properties for this map type are located. In the Condition Filter section, we can filter our map to only display pins where the data meets a certain criteria. For example, we can set the left-hand side to column F, Population, and the Operator to Greater Than, and the right-hand side to 500,000. Then we can check the box to apply filter to only display cities with populations greater than 500,000. In the Map tab, regardless of the method, you can set the position and symbol angle properties. Additionally, you can set the symbol frequency in the General section. If you choose either the Class by Data or Class by Text methods, you can select the data column to bin by and then click the Edit button in the Classes section to edit the properties of all of the classes or of individual classes. If you choose the Uniform Symbol method, none of the other properties on this tab are available, but you can go to the Symbol tab and change the symbol properties. If you choose the Proportional Symbol Size method, you can set the Data Column to Size By. If desired, you can specify a symbol column from your data file, you can specify the min symbol size and max symbol size, and you can set the symbol properties in the Symbol tab. 
This concludes the Creating a Pin Map tutorial. If you have any additional questions, please contact Golden Software.